Good morning everyone, welcome to another video. This is the video that I finally wanted to make. And yes, it is officially game day tonight, 8 p.m. versus Chattanooga Red Wolves. So I'm gonna take you along for the entire game day experience. I'll show you everything that I and we as a team do on game day preparing for the match tonight. And then later on when it's actually game time, I'll have Aaron bring the camera into the stadium, show you some of the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, just show you what game day is all about. But I'm extremely excited. It's been way too long since we last played and it's amazing to finally get the season going. It almost doesn't feel real at this point that we actually have a game today, but, but I'm excited for it. Roommates are still sleeping, so I'll keep this one pretty quiet. Just got back from the walk with Pongo. What I'm having for breakfast is real simple. Small cup of yogurt, a little bit of granola with it. That's about it. I'm not too hungry right now. Had a pretty big dinner yesterday, but we have a walkthrough at 9 a.m. this morning. Just getting the legs moving again, knocking the ball around a bit. Not too much, but, um, but I always like to eat something before I train. Not too much though this morning. But after the walkthrough at 9 a.m., we have brunch at 11 a.m., which is gonna be a bigger meal. And as far as water consumption goes on game days, I drink a lot of water. This is pretty much what I carry around all the time. It's 36 ounce bottle, so I drank half of this already this morning. I'm gonna fill it back up, finish it off. So I'll get one and a half of these in before 9 a.m. and then just keep filling it up and sipping on it throughout the day. So a lot of water, a light breakfast, and then first big meal at 11. So Aaron and I are walking Pongo right now. As you probably know, you see a lot of clips of Pongo throughout the day. That's because my life pretty much revolves around him. So it's pretty much Pongo and training takes up the chunk of my day. But this morning we had the walkthrough at 9 a.m. That was good. We always have a walkthrough the morning of the game, but it's very light. This morning it's just a 10, 15 minute meeting going over tactics, roles, basically what we're trying to do for the game tonight. Getting on the ball for about 15, 20 minutes, just juggling, knocking it around. That's pretty much it, we're in and out in a half hour. But after that, I had lunch. Now, for the rest of the day, it's pretty boring, honestly, which is why you see me out here walking the dog. There's nothing going on inside. I'm pretty much just sitting around and relaxing until the game starts. So it's 1.45 right now. We have uh, dinner at 4.30, or pre-game meal, and then then it's game time after that, so probably not much going on the next few hours, just sitting and relaxing, but I'll catch up before the game again, and then Erin is going to show some of the behind-the-scenes stuff. Luckily, we're one of the few teams, I think, that have that are allowed fans at the games. Although it's real limited capacity, Erin's going to be there tonight with probably a few hundred other people, but that's about it. Catch up at the game. Had a nice healthy meal at 4.30, a few hours before kickoff, which is tonight at 8 o'clock. Chicken, quinoa, broccoli, cauliflower, nothing too heavy, just a little something before the game starts. But now it is a little bit under two hours before our game. We're going to leave in 15 minutes or so. But I will show you what I pack on game day. Riveting content, I know, but I'm sure some of you guys are wondering. So, most important thing. Boots. I always bring two pairs of boots just in case something happens. Firm ground, soft grounds. That's going in the bag. Next, haven't needed these in a long time, but thankfully using them tonight. Shin pads, they're going in the bag. Bringing another pair of compression shorts. We are home today, so I got the blue ones on now. Just in case for whatever reason I need the white ones. Throw those in there as well. Very important. Gotta show this one off. Face mask, very important. We're up in number three. So number three on this side or that side? You caught it. This side? Tormenta? That's going in the bag. Slides. Oh no, you wanna go in the bag? <laughs> you wanna go in the bag? Cleats, shin guards. Throw a stick of deodorant in there That's too. I'm gonna throw this in there too. I have a body armor in the fridge. I'm gonna bring that as well just in case I want a pregame. 
just going to sip on this until the game starts, and I think that's it. Hopefully that's everything, that's all the essentials, but we are leaving in 15 minutes, and then after that, Erin is going to grab the camera, show you some of the behind-the-scenes stuff during the game. Let's get it. It's a few days past the game that you guys just saw. I just took a little bit of time, let the experience soak in, and what an unbelievable night it was. I'm extremely excited to have made my Tormenta debut, extremely excited to have made my debut in the United States again, and extremely grateful to have actually kicked off and started our season. With everything going on in the world, it's, it's unbelievable being back on the pitch again. And especially on a night like that, with everything I've been through personally to get here, everything the team has been through the last few months to get to this point, I just made it a constant reminder to take a few seconds here and there, just soak it all in, enjoy the moment, and that's why I didn't record anything directly after the game. Just wanted to take a few days, let everything soak in. But the game went well, it finished up 2-2, we were able to get a point back in the 91st minute. It would have been great to start the season off with three points, but can't complain about a point, especially with the limited roster that we had, which is why, as you guys saw, I played left center back tonight. You guys know I'm normally a left back, but you guys know from my last video, we had a couple of positive cases. So our roster was very limited tonight, which is why I slipped in there. But I felt comfortable there. I felt good. And um, yeah, it's just, it's unbelievable to actually start off the season. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to follow the journey, follow our season. Be sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.